Yeah. You know you're on vacation when you're at the campground on the way traveling to the beach and you're scootering in your Christmas pajamas. Heck yeah. Not a lot of folks in Dothan, Alabama. Pretty day though. There he goes. Welcome to episode two of my home bee project. In episode one, we showed you bringing it in, started doing a little bit of work to it, getting it cleaned up. And now this episode, we're gonna get it steering and driving. So, or at least just steering. And you also notice the name of my episodes or this project is called Project Snake Eyes. I finally thought of it when I was putting the video together for episode one, because I want this thing to still have a military look, but I want it to be something that Snake Eyes would drive. So if you're like me, when you were a kid, you were either He-Man or G.I. Joe, maybe you were both, but I was G.I. Joe. So I love Snake Eyes, the silent warrior. So we're gonna have this something thing looking cool and it'd be like, man, that's something Snake Eyes would be issued right there. And you might see him around from time to time in the frame. He kind of hangs around and he's gonna help me out on this project. So today we took a little Thanksgiving break and now we're back at it. We got lots of parts in. So we're gonna go through and inventory what we got, got in and make sure I got everything I need to get this steering working. Because pretty much if you try to turn the steering, uh, power steer fluid goes everywhere. So I've got to get this time delay module all hooked up. So when we try to steer it in and out, we're not making a mess every time we move it around. So let's, let's get started on this one. It's nothing like wait episode two to name what you're doing. Project Snake Eyes. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff in. I need the inventory to make sure I got everything. And I really need the pieces. There's like these little fittings and things for the time delay module. That's what, that's what I really need next. That's what I want to do in this episode. Again, so we can steer it. So let's open some stuff up and see what we got. Got a new transmission cover because mine is bent. So I'm also changing filter. So got a new cover. We're gonna just put it back in the box and store it over here. Passenger seat cover. I was missing this. Let's set this right here. So I got rid of the forty pipe, so I needed an exhaust pipe. So we'll paint that with exhaust pipe. Paint, paint black. My snorkel wasn't attached. I think this adapter is missing. So now I have this adapter. It, it, it like they removed it or something. So I can stick this in there and now it'll be attached. So we did get a lot of parts. These are some of the parts I need. I think there's a couple more little brass fittings that I can get at like Home Depot or Lowe's. That's what I need to find. But this, this is a a crucial part because this part of the hose was broke off. So now I can, can reconnect that mod. Okay, so I've ordered parts from various different people. Um, AM General had a good many of the little small parts I need to mount the starter. Uh, I've got the starter here, we'll pull that over. Uh, Midwest military equipment, those guys are pretty responsive, got this pretty quickly. In fact, I kind of ordered all this stuff last Friday as we're going out of town thinking it wouldn't be here till the end of this week, but everything showed up. So luckily no porch pirates. And then uh, Hummer Parts guy, he's got tons of stuff. <clears throat> he, he had all the little small fittings that I needed. Uh, so really just kind of do your search, find the part number in the catalog, and then do your search on all these websites and match it up. starter quite heavy that was um, Milton Industries no core charge it's a rebuild but it's it's this bright part 
and uh, they were very responsive too. I asked them to hold it and ship it on Wednesday, and it arrived on Friday or Saturday. Maybe on Saturday. Okay, so that's everything. Let's see what we got to do the solenoid. Just check and see if this fit. just missing the tie rod ends but I went ahead and bought these brand new tie rods so why not go ahead and replace them because they're nice look at that that's so sweet just I mean can you imagine how who knows how long that tie rod end has been off trying to screw it on because you know some of these are left hand twists some of these are right hand twists so let's just go ahead and say we go ahead and got the whole thing so we're gonna go ahead and put these on so we can get three out of the four things going so we can at least steer it we can break it we can roll it we can roll it out of here and pressure wash it and steer it back in because part of the problem with trying to push this thing without steering is the wheels go two different ways and it's almost impossible so we're going to go ahead and put these on and then we can steer it all right let's get it looks like uh the other end of the tie rod is barely they barely connected the nut back on uh, but also it's greater than one inch. I'm guessing it's about, uh, I don't know, one and eight. And I don't have any sockets that big, so I'm gonna have to go the old rich style. I'm gonna have to get a big set of sockets because everything on this thing is big. So let's uh, let's get this old one off. It's probably gonna require the action of a pickle bar. If you don't know what that is, you'll see what that is in a minute. Pick bar. Moved you all down here so you can see what the action is. And this wasn't cutting it. I had to get a little more of a man hammer. Pickle bar separating from tie rod from control arm. take the whole thing off. They must not have had a pickle bar in the Marine Corps. I see you. We have the new tie rod. Versus old tie rod. Yeah. Old tie rod pretty beat up. Link looks right. That's the pitch is a little off of it. Let's see. What calls it? Hmm. Let's see. 
think there's just... It looks symmetrical to me, so there's no... One way or the other, I think it goes either way. I could be wrong. Somebody's commenting right now, you idiot. No, it only goes one way. We're just gonna fit these tonight. I just wanted to see really how hard it would be to get them out. And it proved right, it was very tough to get them out. You know, you, you buy a tool like this and you use it once every blue moon, but when you need it, it's right there for you. This is gonna require moving the tire, which is not an easy feat. No busted knuckles. The knuckle buster. Yeah, let's see, that's got to push out. So we're gonna do this the easy way. I'm gonna jack it up so it'll float. I got brand new jack too, just for you. Project Snake Eyes. in for now um, we're going to try to take the other one off and then I am going to go to probably northern and get a socket that fits this of course this one's much bigger a socket that fits the one I just put on it so we'll get the other one off and we'll call it and then the right side still has the cotter pin in it, which I'm gonna try to save it so I can match up that size because I'm gonna need four of those. Sorry about that. So, so we do get this one. It's great having the work light on your camera. Some quasi steering now. Some steering. No. Here's what happens when you uh, turn the power steering or the steering without the solenoid control valve connected. Something's spitting out. Got another mess to clean up. All right, right here. That's coming from the cooler. Well, wow, that's good. This one that's not leaking down there. I'm gonna clean this myself. One piece of advice, if you find any bolts or nuts, keep them. Because you keep them in a little pile, let me show you something. So every little bolt and nut I found, I kind of stuck them in a pile. Okay, so first of all, I just found my generator alternators. Well, I didn't know what this was for. Now I know what it's for. It goes on there. This was all kind of dangling off the, the, the voltage generator here. And you can see, it was just kind of dangling. Well, I found all those down in, in, the, in the crooks of the engine. And then there was a couple of bolts and nuts sitting here. Well, and some washers. That was that nut down there that uh, connects the bottom of it, which it wasn't all the way in. So now this one is missing. I just got this temporary in there. I'll go to Ace and get some stuff for that. But again, just a, just a tip. Keep every nut, bolt, washer, anything you find, because more than likely they just took it off and tossed it in the vehicle and you can reuse it. I cannot find the screws here though. I gotta figure out what screw this is. But keep on working. Side all painted up. Now we're gonna get this side with bed liner on it because we're gonna install this thing I can never remember the name of, which is what uh, Black Dog Customs calls a Cadillac valve. And I like that, that's easy to remember. Better than a fan clutch control valve. Uh, whatever. It's power steering goes through it, has something to do with controlling the fan. Mine's missing, got a new one, still missing some brass fittings that are supposed to be here today. So we're gonna get this sprayed ready to go so we can have the steering all hooked up and steer this thing, steer it out, clean it up. Cadillac valve. I like it. Black Dog Customs. Got it. They have an awesome tool for removing glow plugs. 
and I ordered that last night because I'm gonna place all the glow plugs before we start try to start this thing up. Cadillac valve. All right, let's spray this side. Got it kind of masked off. Again, kind of, it's easy to control the spray, so we want to keep all this in the black. Let's shoot it. Alright, so the mail came in. I've got my pieces to put on the Cadillac valve. I went ahead and replaced the broken hose that I had coming from the, the radiant the cooler up front. So that part was broke. So we got the new hose in. The part not broke. Uh, so let's put these on the Cadillac valve and get it installed. Now the tests. Let's turn it to see if it leaks. Believe us, got it. They're gonna take care of this episode. Next episode, we're gonna keep cleaning it up, keep trucking. Stay tuned. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. <laughs> They're making a sound. It's like.